Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the new stream. This is one that I have been I have been wanting to do for so long, and you know, this more than anything feels like I'm going back to the domain roots. And I'm not talking the SS Motion roots, I'm talking the domain, okay? When I relaunched my channel last year, my first big video, or my first few big videos, were ODST dioramas. They were just so epic, I had so much fun making them. This is back to my roots. We've got an ODST diorama this morning. I cannot tell you how excited I am about that sentence. So this is gonna be a diorama like no other. I've got all of my community here to build it with me. This is not just gonna be a pre-recorded thing. We're gonna build it together, and I want all of your input, any suggestions, any figures you want, any weapons, and we're gonna make an epic diorama. And this is the start. This beautiful banking tower from, funnily enough, the original Spider-Man sets. We've got our figures, literally, just like a hundred or so figures then we've got a bag full of like all the halo 3 related figures and we got base plates we got an extra camera and we're gonna just tack this to the far end of this base plate the covenant have just completely overwhelmed uh new mombasa you know we're, we're towards the end of the campaign we've just got intel that some top brute leaders are all kept inside this bank it's like their reconnaissance base it's where all their intel's going into the odsts and the rest of the UNSC are going to storm in as fast as they can and try and overwhelm this bank from the outside. These are going to be some kind of brute generators. And these nice structures outside the building. These are just perfect for any kind of walls, any kind of big structures. We're going to have these on either side of the bank. The UNSC already had these in place. They're part of the structure, especially these purple ones. They're perfect for any kind of covenant task force. So there's a difference between these UNSC pillars and the covenants. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, they ain't playing no games, the Covenant. They have fortified that well. One more barricade here. We've got these base plates here next. Now, I want this green to sort of run off into, like, the side. Like, this is sort of a, a part. Got my big boy piece box. And then I just want to get any and all flat pieces. I'll definitely just accept that for now. What about a destroyed warthog in the front with dead marines and an MPD? Good idea. Should definitely have a destroyed warthog. And then we've also got one more warthog here and a mongoose. I want them part of the frontal assault. Let's have this downed warthog here and they'll have put a little uh, barricade on the side of it. Our downed warthog that the brutes are gonna be trying to pillage through, find whatever they can use. Oh lads, it's always good when there's a cockroach inside your peace box. Get out of here. Also shout out to 150 strong on the live stream. Put an only helmet in the wall as an Easter egg. Hey, that's so good. That's such a good idea. Just stick that in the window. Yes. Only helmet as an Easter egg. That's so sick. We gotta set the scene before we start dumping figures on here. We really do. I wanna build up the base first, running along the side. Got these pieces here, locking off the sides really nicely. There we are. A little bit of tack on this brick. The warthog just blasting straight through that wall. The mongoose following the warthog along. They're just pushing as quickly and as hard as they can into this base. When something is pretty much just blasted, it's com it's just rubble. You can get creative. You can just pop things in any direction. Blue tack is your best friend, guys. Absolutely beautiful, fellas. The downed warthog, then the warthog charging through the wall, the mongoose, and then this destroyed wall here. Let's talk some figures, everybody. A ridiculous amount for this diorama. And there, we've got our figures. Any figures that you request, I can also add. This bag here, this is a bag full of Halo 3 figures. All a New Dawn figures. This is an old one, the Half AC Brute Stalker. Really wanted to include that. Night Stalker Brutes. That four pack is one of my favorites. A load of Brute Miners. Brute Captains, including the 10th anniversary. All of these ODSTs. Da, 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 da. Drop pod ODSTs, book and Romeo Halo Heroes, PAX blind bags. You could get these at PAX Comic Cons. They're amazing. Avery. No diorama is complete without Avery. He's the mascot of the SS Motion and the Domain. This is my holy piece box. All of my really prized collectibles. A brute captain and Halo 3 grunt. Two drones, red and green. Orange drone or yellow, I guess. Another yellow drone. 
drone there. Seven NMPD officers. We've got a Halo 3 grunt. This is from the Hornet Halo 2 Marines. Because this is kind of taking place within Halo 2, this blind bag is gonna take place in the diorama. This figure is going to be in the diorama. If you comment down below saying diorama hype, I'll pick a winner. You cannot have a diorama without Billy the Grunt. Shooting down, I don't know how he got up there. Let's start really loading this thing up with figures. We'll start at the bank and we'll push out. That uh, seems to be the thing that would make sense. We'll have the brute captain, this purple one. He's the 10th anniversary of Mega Bloks. So it makes sense that he's, you know, standing proud on top of this. He's shooting at the warthog that is veering towards him. I don't think he'll survive this encounter, but he's gonna give it his he's gonna give it his dang best shot. Couple of brute captains looking good. And the brute captain on the watchtower. So this brute captain charging out of the gate. And this brute captain, he's got a gravity hammer and a plasma rifle in hand. He's like one of the leaders, definitely. And he's commanding everyone to like move out of the base. So we'll have him to the side. Get to it, boys! You've got some humans to kill. Get out there! By order of the captain, the brutes are running out of the gate. They're gonna meet some heavy UNSC resistance here. We'll also attach some grunts down. So let's start to get some UNSC in here. So we want Romeo for sure. We'll have Romeo shooting the captain as requested. God, I'm gonna want to play some Halo 3 ODST after this, that's for sure. That Halo 3 Marine's being gravity hammered. We'll throw his assault rifle to the side. This is the genius of this set, having these studs. We'll have this grunt falling straight out of the window. They're just having a little snooze. They haven't even noticed that the battle's going on. <laughs> Simon, put a suicide grunt over an ODST, like a brute through it. Ah! You can't make this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. This is what makes the Halo community truly special. Two brutes on the guard tower, one throwing Charles the Grunt down. <laughs> We've got four drones fixed up. Let's start attaching them everywhere. So we'll obviously have a load of these drones on the top of the bank. Okay, they're chilling up there. The streets of New Mombasa. We've got our ODST trying to knife this drone. We've got a book here. So this grunt's been sleeping nicely on the floor and he's moving forward. He's gonna be pushing forward fast. He's got Romeo next to him and he's got only operative dare will be uh, by his side as well. I've got a funny bag over here, let me show you. This is my bag of heads for all of my important characters. The Marines from the Warthog, they will have just been thrown into that corner, just piled up. They're not necessary while the Warthog's been pillaged. And yeah, let's get some more of Alpha 9 going. One of my favorite pieces of my original ODSC diorama was that the Rookie was just a badass. He was just charging a Hunter. So I think I'm gonna do a similar thing. Rookie facing that Hunter straight on. As I always like to do with my Hunters, when they're charging forward, they have a Marine slung over their shield, completely just charged straight through him. Like they haven't even thought of him being there. It's a little bit tricky but you can do it. Insert it into the back of the Marine so you can really have him flung through the air. This brute has been guarding the Warthog and he's charging straight for this ODST. Oh, that's gotta hurt, my friend. Have a brute kicking a Marine. That's a good idea. What do we want to add next? We're also gonna have this uh, dead elite. You know, he symbolizes the end of the Elite's reign over the Brutes, or over the Covenant, ran over by the tire of this Warthog. Let's get our NMPD in here, boys! Driving the Warthog and driving the Mongoose. Again, this Warthog is blasting through right now. The NMPD are definitely not going in quietly. They're going straight for that tower. First of all, we've got Bam Bam Productions. He wants an NMPD officer, giving one of the Coveys a mean uppercut. Five NMPD troops. I absolutely love these guys. Some of them I've kitted out like crazy. This officer in particular, he's got a target locator that I painted, and then he's also got a uh, riot shield. So he's gonna be pushing through with his riot shield, sort of breaking the defenses, holding on for dear life on the back of the mongoose. He's gonna try and get a few shots off on that hunter before it becomes too much of a problem. And we've got two more NMPD Marines. Let's, let's actually say this guy is now protecting his fallen comrade off to the side. Hey Simon, do you think you could add a Marine hiding in the corner? So we've got these Halo 2 Marines here. Who's this bad boy? 
It's Sergeant Avery Johnson. He actually had the same shotgun on my new Mombasa bridge diorama way back in the day. You know, that's full circle for you boys. Johnson coming in with his nice shotgun, ordering his troops to engage, and he's gonna be trying to blow that drone out of the sky, picking up that rocket launcher from a dead corpse over there. An ODST with dual wield magnums, brute miner with a brute shot. We've also got this ODST custom here. This is a beautiful custom by Critically Late Insta, and that needs pride of place. And he's gonna be pushing through to fire upon this grunt who has just found the rocket launcher. He's gonna stop that grunt in its tracks. Ladies and gentlemen, my new Mombasa diorama. In all its glory, look at this thing. Ah, it's so good. Like a Halo diorama to begin with, but then also a Halo 3 ODST diorama. I haven't made one in almost a year, so it just feels so good to make an ODST diorama again, ladies and gentlemen. This is my Halo 3 ODST bank siege diorama. So this bank has been the central hub of all Covenant activity in New Mombasa since they arrived about 24 hours ago, and it has been well fortified with all this purple, this Covenant barricades around, and a watchtower. The grunts, they've, uh, they've been trying to do their best to shoot, but one of them's falling straight out of the bank. The drones are coming down, and the Marines and the ODSTs, the New Mombasa police, after receiving intel that this is the spot, they provided an all-out assault. And I think they're about to be victorious. There are just so many of them pushing in now. So we've got this downed wreckage of a warthog from last time. The submarines piled up dead in the background. Some grunts sleeping. They've just been woken up. One of them's found a rocket, but it's about to be taken out by this ODST. This was the first assault with some dead marines and ODSTs littered around, but the second assault is much stronger. We've got this warthog charging in with a mongoose. We've got this hunter who's about to go face to face with the rookie, but he is also meeting resistance with this police officer. With this shield, he's trying to protect his downed brother over here. Then all the ODSTs, Marines, Sergeant Johnson with a nice shotgun, pushing in here this flame ODST, taking out this brute. This ODST grabbing onto this drone in the air, trying to knife it. A brute kicking an ODST in the face, and a NMPD officer uppercutting a brute stalker. This brute miner is throwing Charles the Grunt through the air. We've got so much going on. This warthog is smashing this barricade. It is a beautiful diorama. And I'm so happy you guys were here to build it with me. You were as involved in this as I was. I loved all the suggestions. I was able to incorporate so many of them. And the end result, I think we can agree, is quite beautiful quite beautiful. Let me know in the comments before we go today what is your favorite part of this diorama and honestly guys I'm just so pleased with this diorama. I love everything about it. I love the banking building. It was just such a perfect scene for this leading into those covenant barricades. They are excellent. I love this downed warthog with the brute miner on top. This drone being uh, knifed by the ODST. I love that Alpha 9 is assaulting up against this hunter. Just, I'm so happy with it, guys. I could not be happier with this diorama, and this just spurs me on so much better to produce my next one. I've got a very special Amazon parcel arriving in just a few days' time. In that are some brand new beach base plates, and with those base plates, I'm going to be creating a Halo Combat Evolved Assault on the Control Room diorama that's going to be titled My Largest Halo Combat Evolved Diorama Ever. It's just going to be so good. It's going to be so good. I'm so excited about it. Thank you so much, guys. This has been an awesome diorama. I'm going to go make some breakfast. You stay awesome. You stay safe out there. Thanks so much for your support. I'll see you next time. The Domain is signing off. <laughs>